it's Laura from Mad Mimi's Crochet and Farming, and I have Persephone here and Matilda here. It is very hard these days to be able to do any type of crocheting, um, but uh, yeah, they 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 all fight for for my lap, and uh, Matilda usually wins because I can put her in my sweatshirt. Hey, stop that. Hey, Persephone, I don't even have anything to throw at you. You know better than that. Okay, so let me, let me tuck myself, tuck her in and there. We can, we can go, kind of, sort of. Well, anyway, huh, these cats are being rotten to the core. Uh, today is Bod Hadapalooza, and we all know what happens on Bod Hadapalooza. But a, a little background. I've had a couple of people ask me why I started Bod Hadapalooza, and it was strictly um, the homeless live everywhere. We have a very large homeless um situation in Fairbanks. Not too much in North Pole. Um, I think they all kind of congregate in the Fairbanks area. And um, I, one way that I could help, I thought, was um, by making hats. So I have been making hats and hats and hats for a couple of years, and I have, um, I decided, you know, well, I know I'm not the only one that has homeless, so I just thought I would put it out there uh, for everybody, you know, who has a homeless population to make hats. Um, you know, I do one a week at a minimum. A lot of times I do two or three, uh, but um, I only show you the one the others, um, I just stick in the box and they're ready to go. So, uh, we had an actually a pretty easy hat this last time. It was, um, I can't remember who picked the number, but I'm going to tell you in just a minute. So, if you didn't like it, uh, you get to blame her. Yeah. It was Karen S. And I have a feeling I know what Karen that is, but I'm not going to try to say, say her last name. Because if I could see it, I think I could say it. But since I can't see it, um... I'm not going to, I'm not going to make it any worse. So she picked hat number 52, which was a, a ribbed, some sort of beanie. The yarn that I chose to use, this is kind of really hard to do, um, is an ice yarn. And I received this yarn from... Um, Nancy at She's Got Yarn 2. Um, if you're interested in the yarn, it's uh, number 696015. And it's called Baby Twist. And um, Baby Twist Rainbow W. And I think that's for white. Um, I have a baby uh, rainbow or baby twist rainbow black that I used for a different one. I have two two in a maybe an eighth of a skein of that left, and I have uh, six and maybe a third left of these. So that's the yarn. I used one whole one. Here, you want to hold that for me? No. Okay. And, uh, oh, so about a half is what I have left. It's pretty rainbow colors. Yeah, she's not helping me out at all. 
you ready to get down? <laughs> yeah, I already know the answer to that one. But I'm going to try because I kind of need both hands. Here, do you want to say hi to everybody? Let's see. We've been practicing this. No, not eat my nails. No, not eat my finger. Look. Look at you showing your bad self. Look, say hi to everybody. Leave my nails alone. Oh, that's your, here, look. Say hi. There you go. Help me. Okay. There. Okay, now well, maybe I can put my shirt down and she'll go attack Persephone and no, nah, it won't happen. Okay, so here is the hat that I made. Um, it is being donated. Um, it's a little tight for my head. Um, and I actually have two. I don't know where I put the other one because I kind of wanted one, but I couldn't get it to not be so tight. So I have two of these being donated. So there it is. Very, very pretty. Very, very soft. I'm going to try again because I'd like to have one hat. Uh, for myself, made out of this. So, um, I don't know where my my head went. He might have went to go find his his cryogenically frozen the rest of his body. I don't know. I used a J. Six millimeter clover or more hook with this. The yarn in question, it's an ice yarn. It's a baby twist. Uh, and they say that it's a, a bulky five, 15% wool, 85. Yep, yeah, 85. Um, 85% acrylic, 15% wool, and they say 70, excuse me, 70 meters, so I'm guessing, what is that, maybe about 74 yards, somewhere in that area, not a lot, but I ended up using one whole one, and this is what I had left of the second one. I uh, I might try again and use a K, a 6.5 millimeter with this one. Um, so we'll just wait and see um, how that is. So remember, if you did not like that um, pattern, you can blame Karen S. Now it's time to find a new pattern. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. Here we go. Everybody, um, I have probably not put everybody's guesses in. I'm so far behind on everything. We've had some crazy family stuff happening, um, but that's okay. So, are we ready to dig in and find out? Oh, you guys want to see me do it. Okay, so let me, let's see, I have nothing in this hand. And nothing in this hand. So here we go. Let me I'm reach down at the bottom. Okay. I think I might have two. Or maybe that's just the way I fold. That's just the way I folded it. Okay. So. Breezy's Crafty Creations. And she picks... Number 138. Oops. Okay, so. That should be one of the newer hats. So let's find out which one. All the way down at the bottom, kind of, sort of. Okay. Um, I don't know. Can you see? It's the landslide beanie. So this is one of her newer ones that um, has just come out. 
So let me put this right here. So, if you don't like this one while you're making it, just just blame Brie. That's all I can say. Um, make it for yourself. Make it for somebody that you know for Christmas. Donate it um, to somebody, uh, an agency. Do or keep it for yourself. Do whatever you want. We'll find out um, how much we like it. Um afterwards there is no um tutorial number so i will put the link below and um in the description box and uh we can and you can get it that way so it is the new one called landslide beanie it looks like she might have done it with a single color tonal type yarn. I can't tell. Or maybe it looks tonal, but I'm not sure. That could be just the lighting. I don't know. So, um, I need to mark this down and put that other one back up. This one goes in the box. And uh, it is time to be off and running with the new landslide beanie cap. Hat, beanie, yes, that right there. So, um, don't forget to stay, be stay below, <laughs> stay after the video and watch um, the, the plethora of pictures that will come from people who have made this week's hat and some of the ones from last week, uh, maybe even some before then. Yeah, so uh, thanks guys for watching. You guys have a great day and I will talk to you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>